Alright, so right now I'm at the video manager page, uh, as you can see right here, for my channel, my RPG Fanatic channel. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this video, or I'm going to go down to this video, you're going to come along with me on this trip, and I'm going to show you um, my Psychon Insetsu 3 review, which is, you know, kind of popular, 10,000 views, not bad. I'm going to open this option up, I'm going to go to Captions, and you're going to see here that I have a script that is active on this video, which is a closed captions, closed caption script. By clicking on this, you can see that uh, every, the time code right here for when the um, particular text is displayed. Now this, I didn't sit here at my computer, you know, figuring out the time codes myself. What I did was I simply uploaded a, a text file that had all of my uh, my whole script on it. I'll show you what I mean right here. This is the script that I used to create my video. And that's why I stress all the time to our partners, it's important to make a script for your videos because then you can upload your script as a closed caption for your video. And this closed caption information is going to be used by YouTube search and Google search to figure out where to place your video in search results. It's really going to help you. If you don't have all this text here, you're missing out on so many potential keywords that you could be using to get your video at the top of YouTube search results. It's very important. And additionally, you can also download your script if you want to add additional text here. If things are missing, you can download it and fix it yourself. The time codes will be there. Um, to add yourself, uh, to add a new script, uh, basically all you have to do is go to Upload Caption, File, or Transcript. And what you're going to do is you're going to go straight to the script. In this case, this would be this. And it will ask you if you want to do it as a caption file, which is includes time codes. Don't do this. What you want is this transcript, uh, transcript file. Because the transcript will automatically create the caption file for you with the time codes that you can later you know, mess around with and stuff. Ideally, you want this as a text file. Uh, currently, I have an RTF file, so I have to go through there and I have to delete a bunch of code for like, you know, the font and the, fi uh, the font size and so forth. Very simple thing to fix, so, but ideally just make it a text file. You won't have to you know, delete the, the gibberish code from your transcript, but you can do it either way. Important to name it. And in this case, I just called it second to three script, what is, where I, is what I originally did. And then I hit upload. In this case, I'm not gonna do that because I've already got a script here. I like the script. It's already tailored for this video. It's working. Oh. Unfortunately, Psychon did says it with three. Uh, this is the other flip of the coin. When you make a video, whatever keywords you have in there is going to be what you get. So in this case, there's not hundreds of thousands of people searching for Psychon did says with three game reviews on YouTube search all the time. So as a result, 10,000 views is about you know what it's gotten so far. It's not highly searched for. But on the flip side of this, sometimes these older games get re-released by the game publishers. So whenever they re-release these games, having your video here sitting with all these keywords in the script, that's really going to put your video in the best position to be at the top of YouTube search results when people are searching for that game. So I do recommend that even if, you know, it may not be something people are searching for right now, don't let that deter you from putting up a script for that video because you don't really know what the trend is going to come in the future with YouTube. Something might go hot that previously nobody really cared about and your video will explode as a result. So this is the best advice I could ever give anybody. This is the number one tip on how to search engine optimize your videos. If you don't do this for all your videos and you're only getting like a couple hundred views per month, you know, that's the reason. Now for me, I really haven't been spending a lot of time doing scripts for my videos, especially my, my, my Let's Plays. It just takes too long to sit there and type it all up. I really prefer to have a script for my game reviews, which is why my game reviews tend to do better. I hope this has been informative for you and that you guys will you know, use some of this advice in your own videos and help you in search results.